I've been searching for a way to run my coffee maker and hair dryer when we were off grid. First, I tried using the Jackery 1000. It did the job, but it takes up a lot of room in our trailer. Recently, Doug installed an inverter and one lithium battery. The inverter instruction says that it requires two lithium batteries, but Doug thought we could get by with just one since the 1000 watt Jackery had been running my coffee maker and my hair dryer. That worked maybe once or twice, but then the inverter started giving an error message. Low battery. Ugh. I couldn't make coffee and I couldn't run my hair dryer. But then Unix sent us two lithium batteries. Doug did the installation. He removed the old lithium battery from the battery compartment and put the two Unix batteries under the bed in the rear of the trailer. Of course, you would never put lead acid batteries inside the trailer because they off-gas hydrogen sulfide gas, which is poisonous and flammable. But it's fine to put two lithium batteries inside. When he was done with the installation, we plugged in the coffee maker, started it, and held our breath. Today, we're going to show you how to make the most expensive cup of coffee you've ever seen. You think Starbucks is expensive? Wait till you see what we're doing so we can have piping hot coffee on the road. So this whole scenario started out, we got a Keurig single serving coffee dispenser and we were using it with the uh, Jackery 1000, which worked great, but then you always have to deal with the Jackery. You know, you gotta solar charge it or make sure you charge it up before you leave home and then it takes up a lot of space on the limited floor space we have, especially with a German Shepherd that likes to lay in the same place. So anyway, um, we decided to get a Victron Multi Plus converter inverter combination unit and install that and it was 2000 watts and we went ahead and installed that and I figured well since we were getting by with a thousand watts with the Jackery I figured maybe we could get by with one battery so we had one LifePo battery from another manufacturer we had one in there but as it turns out the Victron even though you're only using a thousand watts it just basically doesn't run on one battery it requires two so today we're going to upgrade to two batteries the company Uniwix was nice enough to send us these batteries and we're going to install both of these today and uh, see if we can make coffee one, one of the things I did notice with these batteries um, everything looks to be pretty good um, the only thing that I'm not sure about yet is this kind of a terminal connection because if you strip these out over tighten it or something um, you basically ruin the battery so you got to be careful whereas some of the other brands have a terminal that sticks up that uses a nut and a bolt a washer the first thing we had to do was find a location for the batteries since the current battery box only has room for one battery oh you're gonna put them both in there oh that's good yeah so see what happens is that's what I was saying, these cables might. See, it's long enough to reach here. Uh -huh. so I have to have one to go from here to here. So it looks like it might uh, do both. Oh, okay. It's best to put the batteries close together. I don't think it'd be that good idea to put one battery here and one here. In order to get the batteries in, we had to move the water containers that we had stored there. It'll be a little harder to get out, I think. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Because of the angle, if it were full. We ordered the 2 watt cables and cable ends online, and I was able to get the right size shrink tubing at the auto parts store. Doug put the ends on with the crimping tool and added the shrink tubing. Doug added straps to secure the batteries to the trailer. <laughs> Christmas is at once. This is a really good cup of coffee. Plus I can run my hair dryer. And these batteries are a bargain. They're about half what you would pay for a name brand battery. If you're interested, I'll put a link in the video description.